Alrighty, g'day and welcome back to Trippin. Today I've got a whole bunch of gear here from the legends over at SIGWELD and we're gonna find out, is it really that hard to weld aluminium? For that link up in person, text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it. Silly with courage, you're doing this. Just pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. You cut throat from the low low when no love goes. Women buddy buddy like it's been dad. When a me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly buddy, I was straight. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Out, let the smoke scream from my chest out Lay stuff, I really hate love from a stranger Shit is fake stuff, only need Now I've been MIG welding mild steel for quite a number of years now um, And I've built a few projects such as my tray on the uh, GU Patrol The rock sliders and plenty of other things I'm not very good at it, but I can do it But I've always wanted to learn how to weld aluminium And the main way people weld aluminium is by TIG welding And by the looks of it, I've never done it But it looks extremely hard and tedious And from what I've heard, it is very uh, takes many many hours to learn and I've never so, sort of really had the patience or time to want to learn it now I've recently found out about pulse MIG welding which is another way you can weld aluminium which apparently from my short five minutes of research actually provides a quality weld that's up there with TIG welding now it doesn't quite look as pretty but it looks good enough um, for me anyway so hopefully today we're gonna find out how hard it actually is and if I can do it, I reckon anyone out there can do it. So, let's get stuck into it. First thing we need to do is build this welding table. All right, now before we get started with the aluminium welding, we're gonna have to build ourselves a table. Now, I picked up this table online from a website called Adventure Corp. Now, they actually laser cut this tabletop specifically to order. Uh, I think it was only about 200 and something dollars, which is pretty cheap. It is uh, five mil steel and it's about 1200 by 1200. Um, and it's actually got all these little holes laser cut into the surface, as well as the grid, which um, will come in handy when you're building projects. You can also buy a whole range of products like clamps and stuff that actually fit into these holes with nuts on the back. Um, so we might have to get some of them. But first, we'll head into town, grab some steel, and we'll make a base for this table. So let's go. Alrighty, I'm back from town. I've grabbed a heap of supplies. I also went over to my old man's and grabbed the old trusty Weld Skill 185 SIG Weld welder. That, this is the welder I've built my tray with, built my rock sliders, pretty much everything I've ever done was with this uh, 3 in 1 Weld Skill 185. So, and I've got the gas bottle here. So, this is set up for MIG welding mild steel, which is what we've got here. I also got the saw, some clamps, square. Um, some steel. Now, it may shock you, but I've never built a table before, so I had no idea what to get, but like I do with everything, we're just gonna wing it and see how it turns out. So, I was sort of conflicted, because I wanna make the table strong and sturdy, but I also, I also don't wanna make it too heavy to lug around, if you know what I mean, so, because it's all mild steel, it's gonna be pretty heavy as it is. Just that tabletop alone is friggin' pretty heavy, so. Yeah, the goal is to make it sturdy and strong, but not too heavy. So, that being said, what I've got is some 75 by 75 by 5 mil uh, angle. So this is what we're going to be using for the legs. I was tossing up whether to go up to 8 mil, but I ended up going with the 5 mil. So hopefully they're going to be strong enough for the legs. So we've got four of them. Now here we've got some 50 by, uh, what's this, 50 by 6 mil flat bar. I've also got some 40 by 40 by 3 angle. Now, this we will use um, as cross braces for the bottom of the legs. The reason I've used the angle for this is we will be able to use, I've got some form ply over here, which is left over from the canopy. We'll be able to make a shelf on the bottom of the table with that. So yeah, if we run this all the way around, we'll be able to use that to hold up our timber. So we're gonna use this as the uh, the cross racing of the table. So we'll have one leg there, flat bar, another leg. Sort of build a square and then put some slats and cross bracing. Um, the reason why I'm doing it like this is I don't want to cover any of these holes. So that's the reason we're using flat bar. So the angle um, will, legs will come across like this and then the flat bar will run down here. I don't want to cover up these holes just because you can, we will be utilizing the holes uh, for clamps and whatnot. And especially if you're gonna be covering these holes on the edges, that's where you're most likely to be putting clamps and stuff like that. So that is the reason why we're using flat bar and angle like this. All right, just quickly before we get started, 
I've actually got some hoodies stocked on the TRPN website if they're still available. Now there's two designs. This one is the gray TRPN, plain on the back, nice, clean, simple. Um, and it's actually bubble print. So the print's actually like 3D. And I've also got the having a crack ones in white. So head over to the link in the description to the website if there's any left. I doubt there is, but if there is, go and grab one, be quick. If you buy one, they are two entries into winning the GQ Patrol giveaway car, which we will be working on in the next video. All right, that's enough yapping. It's time to figure out how we're gonna put this thing together. Let's go. Back in there. Yeah. Tell them to watch it. Nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit doing. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm back in that. Hey, where you going? Hey, hey, back in that bag again. Now bring me around your friends. You know that I'm bagging them. Request me on Facebook. No, I ain't adding them. Positions I had her in. You say cheer? Yeah, you gotta do it. Her friend, tell her pull up, word, let's make it a gathering They like that baby, again. nah, I'm Matic now, but she loving the splash again I just be cashing in her buns, just like a wedding I'm crashing in I'm gonna try and see the top on and see what she looks like up, I'ma slash again, buckets on buckets, I'm switching edition Back in my bag, going back again, I'm feeling like Aladdin, yeah I'm a That's pretty darn good I'm actually stoked with that, it's gonna be sick with the When I put the shelf on the bottom, be able to put all my welding gear in there I was worried about, with the size steel that we were using, it was gonna not be sturdy this thing's only tacked together, and look at that. I'm pushing that pretty hard, and it barely, it's barely moving, so. Once we fully weld that up, and obviously put more bracing under the top, so yeah, she's gonna be sturdy as. That's enough for me today. I'm gonna come back in the morning. We'll weld her out. We'll finish it off, and then we'll get stuck into attempting to weld some aluminium with this thing. See you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm back in there. Hey. Where you going? And you should know that we on this forever You don't know me well, just ask again you know And you should know that I'm with all the fuckery Why you sit down and just watch the film And you should know that con Alright, I didn't want to wreck me new hoodie So we're going to open up the uh, Welding jacket from SigWeld And throw it on, I reckon she with me, you know she a 10, she a Barbie, you know I'm a Ken Rolling some dope, sipping some gin, it's always been us, it never was them Back in my bag, they know it's a gem, tell them to watch it now Alrighty, we got it all welded out now All there's left to do is to We'll lay that table, uh, the top down flat on here And then we'll tip that up on the Put some welds on it I honestly Like I said, I was going to put slats and stuff on here But when I had the top on I, um, I was actually surprised with how rigid the table was and I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine without putting the slats in. So if I had the metal, I would, but I don't have any more flat bar. So in the future, we can add that after anyway. So yeah, we'll go ahead, throw this top on. Hey, nowadays the pain follow me, deal with trauma privately. I don't want to be a burden, I handle things defiantly. Spent a decade searching for a higher power, God in me. Figured out that fate is not up there, that it's inside of me. Act with execution. Now, just to show you these welds, just in case anyone was wondering. Now, I am definitely not the best welder. I'm actually pretty bad, but you can see they turned out all right. And that's just with this cheap SIG weld. Uh, 185 world skill, 3 in 1. They're only a few hundred bucks. And yeah, you can weld thick 5mm plate like that. And you can see on the other side, I'll show you when I flip it back over, but you can see that the um, the welds are penetrated through. You can see them on the other side. To a thumb drive and upload it to the masses when I pass on my sensors. I was worried it was going to be all wobbly, but that's bloody perfect. So I'm going to flip it over. And we'll uh, we'll throw these wheels on the bottom of it, I reckon. Need a basket, playing traffic. If you wanna play the faction, we don't act, we getting active, stacking cash and dodging taxes. My father was a Catholic, never taught me how to practice. But with music, I'm a Baptist. Chris and all these fucking tracks, I bless these raps with standing in the middle of the marsh. Yeah, baby, both sides caving on the drive. on me, praying to my pops and the gods. God, please help me out. Can you bang? Look at that. Nice. Oh, I'm stoked with that. That is mint. The only thing I didn't think of is these wheels. 
don't have brakes. Probably should have got wheels and brakes now that I think about it, but. Well, I definitely should have got wheels and brakes. Literally just come to my head. Fucking hell. Anyway, we can always cut them off and put wheels and brakes on uh, if it's going to be too much of a pain. Other than that, I'm stoked. That is sick. Now all we need to do is cut out a bit of timber for the base. I was just thinking about it. I was just about to grab this uh, bit of form ply out and make a bottom for this. And then I realised it's probably not a good, good idea putting timber down there underneath a welding table where a lot of welding slag is probably going to fall down in between these holes and land straight on top of it. So I don't want to be burning down me fucking shit anytime soon. So we're not going to do that. I do have at home, I've got a, like a 0.9mm zinc sheet. So I'll probably get that. We might use that because I'll it's been sitting at home for years, I haven't used it, so yeah, we'll put the zinc sheet as the base, but we'll do that at a later date. For now, I think it's time we set up this welder and test it out. Let's go. Look at that, solid as. Alrighty, now that we have the table built, it's time to unbox this beast here and find out how hard it really is to weld aluminium. So let's go. I've already, as you would have seen, unboxed this helmet and I've been using it. Absolutely love it. I've never had a friggin' weld helmet like this where you can actually able to adjust it and whatnot. Um, absolutely stoked with that. Oh, oh look at that. That is sick. No way. I've been to town and grabbed a, a gas bottle. 100% um, argon now. It does require a 15 amp power point, so luckily we've got a 15 amp power point in the workshop here. It's got a full proper LED screen. No way. I'm gonna have to read the instructions because I've got no idea what I'm doing here. Now this is 100% argon. With your MIG welding for mild steel, you've got a mixed gas, which is argon and something else, so. This is a different gas to what we used on the MIG welder or on the other welder for welding mild. Yeah, you're required 100% argon for welding aluminium and stainless steel. Alrighty, so obviously there's a lot of settings and fine tuning you can play around with on the welder, but I just wanted to get in and have a crack and see how it goes uh, with the basic settings to begin with. So I had a little bit of three mil aluminium angle um, to practice on. So I set the recommended settings up for three mil aluminium and it was time to give it a crack. Well, that's not good. That is not good at all. All right, so it turns out my 15 amp power point was actually really sloppy and the power lead was sort of flopping around inside the power point, uh, causing it to trip the power. I did manage to tape it into place and I was able to run a few beads. Not too bad. And for the first time ever welding aluminium, we've basically no teaching at all. I reckon that's not too bad. There's plenty of room for improvement, but I'm actually pretty happy with that, eh? All right, so unfortunately I did keep having dramas with the power dropping out due to my sloppy power point. So I am going to have to get that fixed, but these are my first two welds with the welder straight out of the box. No practice, no nothing. Um, so I'm pretty stoked with them. They're, obviously they're not perfect and there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, I think with a couple of hours practice and a little bit of playing around with the settings, we'll really be able to nail down these welds. All right, unfortunately, we're gonna have to call it there. The power keeps dripping. I don't know why, I think that power point is shitty um, and it's just too loose in there, causing it to trip the power, so. I'm gonna have to go get a new power point from there. Um, and then hopefully we can start laying some fat dime bags. Let us know down in the comments what projects you wanna see me build with this. I've got a couple of ideas, but of things we can make out of aluminium, especially for the canopy setup. Um, I'm actually thinking about making my drawers out of aluminium this time instead of plywood, so yeah. 
Well, um, let us know of any other projects you want to see me do with this welder. Big shout out to Sig Weld. This thing is absolutely sick. So massive shout out to them. I'll just show you my welds. I'd say for my first time ever welding aluminium, never even tr attempted to weld aluminium. Um, you can see the middle of these welds actually look pretty good. The start and the finishes, like I said, are dog shit, but you can see the middle of these welds look pretty good. So I reckon if we can dial in the welder, get the starts and the finishes looking good. The answer to the question is, how hard is it actually really hard to weld aluminium? I think with a pulse MIG welder like this, definitely not. I reckon a few hours practice, get, dial in the welder, like there's nothing you might be able to weld with this. I'm absolutely keen as to see what we can do with it. Um, like I said, let us know down in the comments what you, see, what you want to see me build with this thing. Um, absolutely spewing about the power problem, but shit happens, so. Thanks heaps for watching. Big shout out to Sig Weld. If you want to be able to weld aluminium like this that easily, definitely go and check them out. I'm surprised. So let's go.